Hello everyone. In a previous video, I went over every character's favourite food and why it was their favourite. But after I did that video, I got myself thinking. What would every character's least favourite food be? Now, such a mechanic of least favourite food doesn't exist in Don't Starve Together like favourite food does. But it would be cool if it did though. Like, if you ate a character's chosen least favourite dish, they would, I don't know, explode or something. Anyway. I scoured through every survivor's quotes to try and find the one food I think each of them dislike the most. Now, there do exist some characters with dietary restrictions like Wurt and Wigfrid, but those don't count. We're only going to be including foods that can be eaten by the survivor. And I'm also going to be ignoring universal disgusting foods like monster meat, wet goop and all sorts, since if we didn't, this video would be incredibly short. Everything good? Then let's hop to it with the first guy. Wilson may be a gentlemanly scientist who makes rugs out of his own facial hair, but one thing he cannot stand? Eating carrots, I think. In his own words, they're yucky vegetables that he pulled out from the ground. Cooked though, he probably doesn't mind. Now, Wilson is perfectly okay with potatoes, which are an equally found in the ground kind of vegetable, so the filth isn't an excuse here. He just had some carrot related trauma growing up, I bet. I'm really grasping the straws already on the first guy on the video, ain't I? Well, hopefully Willows will be a bit more clear-cut. From what I can tell, she dislikes the Froggle Bun Witch, citing that the legs are gross. This might be typically seen as a gross dish overall, but all the other survivors seem relatively keen on eating a frog leg sandwich. Tastes like chicken, after all. But alas, Willow does not. Honestly, I cannot blame her. No matter how tasty they may be, I'd rather not eat frog legs, bun witch or not. Not just because I'm a work main, of course, but just because they look vile. An easy one now. Wolfgang would despise the Grim Galette for one simple reason. It, um, it looks scary. He says he needs to eat it with his eyes closed, a big old baby. Despite this though, with his larger HP pool, Wolfgang probably benefits the most when it comes to restoring sanity when eating this thing, wouldn't he? Now, I struggled with Wendy's, since the miserable git doesn't like anything, honestly, and the closest I found is a barnacle pita, since, um, her pita is filled with sadness? Is this a joke or reference I'm not getting? Anyway, we could look at spicy chili instead, since according to Wendy, Abigail dislikes it. With how much they have in common and how close Wendy is to her sister, there's a good chance here that she may dislike it as well. WX78 is the easiest one on the list so far. Egg. Just, just, um, egg. They, um, hit him with the I hate you egg. Sure, the robot hates everything, but signalling out their hatred towards egg seems... perfect. This video was a stupid idea. Wicker bottom time? Probably pierogies? Or is it pierogi? Pierogan? What's the plural of pierogies? Wickerbottom falls into the wonder trap of being a character that speaks almost entirely in gimmicks, that being describing the scientific name of everything, but for pierogies, she seems to describe them as bland dumplings, whereas other characters don't share the same sentiment. If not those, then what about Taffy? She says she's not a big fan of those either, but that's probably to kill the stereotype of grandma loving old person sweets. You ain't fooling me, Wickerbottom. However, that is her solo Don't Starve quote. In DST, she just says to mind your teeth. Woody isn't that fussy of an eater, all things considered. Except with jelly salad. I know this may go against my rule of avoiding food that other survivors have a distaste for, but Woody proclaims that he would not touch it with a 10-foot pole. Pretty scathing review for an honestly pretty decent dish, in game that is. Hard finding one for this guy since his Canadian politeness extends to food but not birds. Where's, um, I think he, um, I, I have no idea, dirt or something, I, I don't know. The man has no quotes except those hidden in his soliloquy, so it's impossible to gauge what he likes, let alone dislikes. Can't be some slack guys, please. Just tell me in the comments what he dislikes, okay? Maxwell is a snobby, picky git who kind of dislikes everything and everyone, but not food. He has a pretty broad palate, but that palate cannot include any form of bananas. Raw, cooked or smoothied, he won't have them. Says they're too ashy, which is not something I've ever heard bananas described as. 
Maybe because they're cave bananas? Wait, no, that doesn't even apply anymore since they also grow on the surface now. I don't know, old man issues maybe. Right then, it's time for the expansion fog now, and the first on the chopping block is Wigfrid, a character that already has a dietary restriction, be it actual or just part of her character, and that restriction being anything vegetable coded. But like we said in the intro, they have to be foodstuffs so survivors can eat, which means her least favourite food is probably beefy greens. It's a plant dish that she can technically eat. In her own words, her instincts are screaming against eating it. Honourable second place goes to veggie burgers too, for, you know, obvious reasons. Weather is actually able to eat some of the more rancid stuff in the game, like monster meat thanks to the whole spider biology. But something the boy and the spider probably cannot stomach at all? Ceviche. Which is a dish I completely forgot they added to Don't Starve Together. Apparently they added it all the way back in Wily's character update. Fish or shellfish marinated in citrus. Doesn't sound the most appetising, all things considered, and they make sure to let us know that too. Again, an honourable mention probably would go to Asparagus Facho, which he says he'll only drink because Wily made it for him. He also reminds us that asparagus makes your pee smell, which it does. Thank you, Weber. I really appreciate that. Now, Wily doesn't have a favourite food, since he's a chef and possibly all foods are his favourite, so that means in turn he shouldn't have a least favourite food? Wrong. You know what food is his least favourite? Besides raw ingredients, meatballs. Lazy, uninspired crutches the entire DST community rely on way too much. Sure, they're tasty, but if you eat nothing but meatballs all day every day, you'll never experience the real taste that is variety in this cold, heartless world. Ignore what his quotes say, he is lying to you. But Wormwood? I, um, I don't know, he probably dislikes bunny stew or something. He feels bad for the poor rabbit inside. Really hard finding something that Wormwood dislikes eating because his quotes are either food or yummers for literally anything in the game, and that includes human meat, when that was a thing. Sorry for another day, perhaps. It's not cannibalism because he's not a human. Winona may be the definition of not a picky eater, which is good for her but terrible for me in my video. Only thing I could see is tea? Y you know, soothing tea, the thing you make from that stuff you grow in your garden that you don't want. Because, you see, she's such a hard-working girl, she doesn't have any time for tea breaks. Y you get it? Unhealthy working ethic? I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you think her least favourite food is, because I'm stumped in all honesty. Wartox, however, is an easy one. Garlic and or salt. Anything made with or seasoned with them. He hisses towards them when inspecting them, which alludes to the whole demonic aspect about him, and how demons are repelled by salt. Probably garlic too. You could argue he also doesn't enjoy eating salt, but is forced to due to his curse, so that could apply as his least favourite food thanks to a technicality. But if we wanted a system where least favourite food has a negative, then it wouldn't make any sense at all. Now bear with me for a second, because I'm going to break my rules for work since she's my main and I'm allowed to do whatever I want because it's my video. I'm aware she's a vegetarian and cannot eat anything with meat in it, but have you seen her quotes for anything that contains fish? They go from comical levels of disappointment to just pure disgust and heartbreak. <laughs> Poor little thing. But the closest thing I could come to terms with finding that she disliked were cooked dragon fruits because, according to her, they taste like medicine. Wait, hang on, is that why dragon pies have such a strong healing ability? Wait, double hang on, she apparently loves dragon pie. Does she just like the taste of medicine? Yeah, that adds up, she's a bit of a weirdo, isn't she? Walter doesn't like asparagus. His chipper attitude is muted massively whenever he's presented with them, which makes sense since a kid not liking his vegetables isn't a rare trope, even if Walter still does enjoy other vegetables. But his quotes for asparagus strike a step of, Mum always forced me to eat my asparagus and I didn't want to growing up. Honestly, Walter, I don't blame you, they're not my favourite vegetable either. And last but not least, like always, Wanda. Oh boy, this is a tough one. Once again, speaks entirely in gimmick, ergo 70% of her quotes for food are just like, Oh, I don't have time to eat this, way. So my best bet would be like, bacon and eggs. She's always in a rush and strikes me as the kind of person who would skip breakfast. I don't know, man, I love you Wanda, but your quotes suck so much. I'm so sorry. And those are my ideas for the survivor's least favourite food. 
A completely nonsensical and pointless video, but alas, that's what I'm known for at this point. Let me know your headcanons and what your least favourite food is down below. And do you think a mechanic like this should even exist? What would it even do? Would it reduce sanity? Would it reduce hunger gained? Would it make the characters explode? Let me know down below. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye bye everybody.